Welcome back to the virtual hangar. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute pin cushion that looks like a pumpkin spice latte. Your kit will include one paper copy cup from Bodhi Leaf. You could use any paper cup. One styrofoam cone. One piece of orangish tan felt. One small handful of white pipe cleaners. Some rock fill and some tacky glue. From home, you'll also need a pair of scissors and a serrated blade or knife, and then something to spread glue with. I use a popsicle stick. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our circle on tan felt. Just put your cone right on your piece of felt and then trace around it with a pencil or a pen, a marker. It doesn't really matter what you use to trace. Um, and then just go ahead and cut that circle out with your scissors. I went a little bit outside of the outline that I drew just to make sure that my coffee cup would be nice and full of coffee. And I'm just gonna double check that I can fill the whole cup. Yep, covers up the top of the lid. And the next thing we're going to do is cut our cone down to size. So I went about a third up from the bottom. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact how far up you go. And then I'm just going to use a sawing motion and cut through the cone. I also rotate the cone as I go around. And that gives you a reasonably smooth bottom for your piece of styrofoam. This part, again, doesn't have to be perfect. It does not matter exactly. You just want to make sure the cone fits nice and tight in your cup, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is cut another little small piece of styrofoam for our whipped cream plop. <laughs> um, I cut again about a third up from the bottom of the remainder. And then on this, the top two thirds, I then cut up another little third from the bottom. Again, super does not have to be exact or I would have given you measurements. It just needs to be a little piece of styrofoam that you can use for the whipped cream on the top. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and take our tacky glue and whatever you have to spread your tacky glue around, could be your finger, and just go ahead and put a bunch of glue on the top of your biggest styrofoam piece that we just cut. You can tell I used to be a cake decorator. By the way, I am frosting <laughs> my cone here. Um, and then go ahead and just lightly place your felt on your piece of styrofoam. You're gonna have the best results if you let that dry overnight, but I am making a video, so I'm not doing that. Here, now we're going to just put some rock fill in the bottom of our, cu our cup, and you're probably not gonna use all of the rock you got in your bag. You just wanna make sure that it's filled up to the bottom of where your biggest styrofoam piece falls in the cup. So I put too many rocks in, and then the styrofoam was sticking up over the top of the cup. So just pour some back out, try again. Again, not an exact science. It's just to give the bottom of your pincushion some weight so that you don't accidentally, you know, send your pincushion flying when you try and put some pins in it. So that looks like about the right amount of rocks. I'm just gonna take my um, styrofoam piece out. And again, I'm smoothing mine because I didn't let it dry overnight, but you really will get a much easier time if you do let it dry overnight. The next thing we're gonna do is take some more tacky glue and just put some on the outside of your biggest styrofoam piece. Again, it will probably only touch the cup on the top like third or so of the cone piece you cut. So you don't have to use a terribly large amount of tacky glue, but you do want to have good contact and good glue. And then if you didn't let yours dry like I did, you can take your whatever you use to spread your glue around um, and just tuck the edges of your felt under so that they're not sticking up weirdly because you do want it to look like a latte. And it's a little hard to see from this angle, but I did only use enough rocks so that the top of my felt piece here wouldn't be totally flush with the top of the cup. I wanted it to look like I took a little sip of my latte first. So there is a little bit of a gap. The next thing we're gonna do is take one of our pipe cleaners and just push it right into the center of the top of the smaller piece of styrofoam that we cut. And then I'm going to bend it down and around and basically pre-bend the wire so that when we go to glue it, we're not trying to bend it and glue it at the same time and make a big gluey mess. So I just wrap it all around in a spiral until I get to the end of the pipe cleaner. And then once I do finally get to the end, I kind of let it spring back up because we're gonna need room for the glue. 
Once I'm at the end of the pipe cleaner, I also stop to kind of tuck in the end and then that's where I'm going to start the next pipe cleaner to wrap around. And again, we're just going to pre-bend it so that it's already sort of in the right shape for when we go to glue it. And I just always start with tucking the beginning and the end into the styrofoam. If you use more than two pipe cleaners, that's totally fine. You'll have a bit bigger dollop of whipped cream. I just ended up covering my styrofoam with two. So after I do the pre-bending of the pipe cleaners, I'm going to again <laughs> frost my styrofoam piece in the glue. And there's no way around it, folks. This is going to be a little bit messy on your fingers. You will get glue on them. But hopefully the pre-bending helps so you don't get as much. So I did the top spiral there and I'm just going to kind of hold it until the glue really takes. And if I need to tighten it up when I tuck in the other corner, then I just have to do that. It's going to be a little bit like playing the floor is lava, but the styrofoam is glue. And so just keep your fingers on the pipe cleaners and maybe they won't get that messy. Um, I only did the top uh, I'll say the top layer and the top like third of the sides. So as I wrapped around the second piece, I put more glue around the sides. And then as I finished wrapping, um, I, the pipe cleaner stuck to the glue. When I finally at the end, I tucked the last little bit of the wire into the styrofoam. And then I just kind of hold it all for a second until the glue starts to take. And hopefully the bend of the pipe cleaners will keep it kind of condensed and down where you want it to be. Then the last thing we're going to do is just put some tacky glue on the bottom of our styrofoam piece here with the whipped cream. And then when you're done with that, we are just going to plop it right down on the center of the top of our felt piece. And that is the whole project. Um, it should probably dry overnight before you put any pins in it, but that is our cute pumpkin spice latte pin cushion. If you have any questions, as always, please hit us up on social media. You can also email us at hanger at placentialibrary.org. I would love to hear from you and I would love to see what you guys make or how you use this. Um, make sure to use the hashtag made at PLD. Even though you're at home, you're still making it with us. And I would love to see all of your projects. And I'm also looking forward, and I hope you are too, to the other Take and Make kits that we're going to be doing um, next month on December 1st. We're doing mason jar snow globes. And I will see you next time.